okay, so I'm uh, back in the hotel room Saturday night. I've had qualifying in two tests today, and uh, not the best day, but okay. It's um, it's not too bad. We can we can we can come back from it. So starting from the beginning, um, we went out this morning and. Uh, weren't too bad, too bad to begin with. Um, we only really got a few laps in in the first test, and then we had a, uh, a gearbox issue. Um, fifth gear got jammed, and um, it eventually turned out that the one of the t the uh, the teeth had, had broken off the gear. So um, that was that was a bit unlucky, really, and um, it put us out of the session. So we didn't really get too much track time in the first one. Quite a way down the order. Um, but then on to, on to free practice two, the gearbox fully repaired, everything seemed to be working um, okay. And so we went out, we went out on old tyres um, from our allocation. Um, pounded around for quite a while while I tried to learn the circuit and get myself dialed in. As I mentioned in, in my other blog that it's a, it's a track I'm very unfamiliar with. And so it, it did take me a few laps to get into it. But then at the end of the session we put some new tyres on it. And, uh, and did a qualifying simulation and, and ended up P1 just in front of uh, Tom on P2. So a great, a great effort from the team. Car was looking good, handling really well, and uh, we were all feeling pretty quietly confident at going into qualifying. Um, so qualifying a few hours later, we um, we made a few uh, minor adjustments just to really squeeze the best out of it for qualifying. Um, but we unfortunately got struck with. Um, with a, a ride height failure, so they measure um, the the gap between the, the the lowest points of the car and the floor, and I think it has to be above 85 mil. And um, unfortunately, we failed. We had a, a small issue on the front of the car where one of, one of the materials that we we use on the car seemed to be sagging with the heat. Um, but it was it, it cancels your time effectively. You'd, you'd lose that particular. Um, lap which um, it wasn't the best lap I think it had put us P3 um, but it was it was a good banker to start with and we still had two runs to go but by the time we actually got the problem solved um, it knocked out the second run and we got a final third run right at the end um, to then put a time back in uh, but unfortunately the the setup changes we had to make to get around the ride height uh, really did affect the balance of the car and I had a very understeery balance of the car and, and also came tr across traffic of a, a lot of other people trying to squeeze that last lap in at, at the last minute so not the best situation really but on the bright side we have qualified ninth still we're still inside the top 10 and we can still have a good day from there from there tomorrow so I think um, we've sat down and, and looked at it tonight um, it literally would be been a few hours in the uh, in the motorhome looking over stuff looking over the data and, and planning what we're going to do tomorrow wet and dry and uh, I think the key to it is going to be getting a, a nice, a good start off the line and, and keeping your nose clean and maybe pick them off one by one. We do believe we've, we've got a fast car, so um, I think the, the main thing is going to be keeping it on the road at the start and then, then try and work at it and, uh, and get back up there with Tom. If, uh, if, if Tom's kind enough, you never know, he might even uh, hold them up for me while I'm trying to ca catch up, but uh, we will see tomorrow. But no, I'm looking forward to it. It should be, it should be a good day. And... Um, hoping that the, the rain stays away, although it doesn't look like it will at the moment, which that will change things things a lot. I was speaking to a lot of the other drivers today, and they all say, other than Matt Neal really, that they haven't um, really driven the GP circuit uh, in the rain. Um, and even if they have, it was a very long time ago, and we now got a bit of resurfacing on the circuit, which seems to be making the those particular sections very slippery in the wet. Um, so it will be interesting, whatever happens.